This video is going over how to solve an inequality using graphical methods. Now the inequality we're going to look at is 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 is less than or equal to 2x minus 6. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is graph both sides of the inequality. So the left hand side was 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 and enter 3x plus 1. Now it's probably best we use brackets. Bracket 3x plus 1. Move outside the bracket over divided by bracket again x minus 2. 2. Enter. Okay, so there's our first function, the left hand side. Now we'll press tab again and do the other one which is 2x minus 6. Enter. Okay, so we've graphed both sides of our inequality. Now we want to find these points of intersection here and here. So we go menu, analyze graph, intersection, lower bound and upper bound. So there's, I'm going to move this coordinate. There's our first uh, point of intersection, 1, negative 4. Then I'll just do it again. Lower bound, upper bound, and there's our other point of intersection, which is 5.55. Now we have to remember that this inequality is only in terms of x. So really, the y values don't matter. We actually just really consider the x values in our solution. Also, um, if we look at this blue function, which is 3x plus 1 over x minus 2, an important part of that is the x minus 2 at the bottom, which means that there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Okay, so it's very important to remember. Now, to answer the question, we need to know when 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 is less than or equal to 2x minus 6. So in other words, when is the blue function, this one, less than, I mean lower than the red function? Okay, so that happens, well it's not here, because during this part of the graph, we're above the red function, so when x is less than 1, we're above the red function, but when x is bigger than 1 down here, down here, this part of the graph, so when x is bigger or equal to 1, the graph is less than or equal to the red one. However, if we, we, if we used all of x is bigger or equal to 1, it would include all of this, so even this part here, but this is above the graph, the red graph. So we don't want to include that. So what we have to this is when we have to remember that there's an asymptote at x equals 2, so along here. Okay. So really this one, this part down here only satisfies when x is bigger or equal to 1 and less than 2. Okay, it goes down forever, but it stays less than 2. Now when we consider the other part of the graph. We don't want this part up here, but we do want this part because this blue part is below the red part up here. Okay, so we want x is bigger or equal to 5.5. Now, that's going to go on forever. This graph is just going to go across forever. I think it's got an asymptote of 3. And this one, this graph up here is just going to go up forever, so it's never going to intersect again. So we can just safely say x is bigger or equal to 5.5. So ultimately our answer is x is bigger or equal to 1, but less than 2. And it's less than because the graph never actually hits 2 because it's an asymptote. And the other part of our solution is x is bigger or equal to 5.5.